What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video and today we have a brand that I've not featured on the channel before. However, they make very affordable watches and a very affordable dive watches that are actually very well specced. Uh, Aragon, and you may know about Aragon, you may not. They originally were called Android. I have an Android watch. It was actually a watch that I bought when I was younger uh, that I actually gifted to my father because it had a Swiss movement and it was very inexpensive. Um, and that is a very sentimental watch for me. Um, so this is kind of uh, a little bit of a special unboxing uh, for myself. This was actually lent into the channel by one of my viewers, Junior Johnson, a really great guy, a big collector of watches. He has watches from Rolex down to Aragon. And this is actually very inexpensive and very nicely packaged watch. So big box, as you can see, uh, fills up the entire screen. It has a snap enclosure, uh, sort of like a little belt action there. It's signed Aragon on the inside. And then, of course, here is the watch. You also get a big, I guess this is like a microfiber cloth and has a little thing on here if you want to hang it from, uh, I don't know, your bathroom. I don't know where you would do <laughs> I don't know what you would do with that. Uh, and then there's a book in here. I can't get it out, but uh, that's the instruction manual and warranty information, obviously. Uh, a really big box. I mean, it's something that you could actually put on the side, uh, used to, I don't know, like carry things or, or uh, put your keys in when you come home, things like that. So here's the watch. Now, I said this is a really good value. I, this is a really good deal. Uh, and I'm going to get right into why. This is $139. It's a 200 meter dive watch, 42 millimeters. I think they make it in 45 and 50 millimeters. So uh, some very large sizes and then a practical size, 40, 42 millimeters. I'm not sure if they go smaller than that. Uh, this, I think, is a fully loomed dial. There is loom in those indices and loom on that bezel. I think there is loom in the crown. I'm going to double check that. Of course, we'll do a loom shot at the end. $139. You're getting a ceramic bezel, uh, screwed in crown, screwed in case back, 200 meters, all stainless steel, NH35 or NH35 or NH36, I don't remember, um, but it does get a custom rotor, so uh, it's a little bit nicer than your run-of-the-mill uh, NH35, and you get to see it, so that is different as well, and they've gone the extra mile and actually put a little decorated rotor on here. This is the rubber strap. If you want this on a bracelet, I think it's like 179 uh, and it does get a milled class. I mean, that's pretty impressive if you ask me. Uh, a lot of specs for the money. Now, as I mentioned, 139 gets you this watch with uh, with this ceramic bezel and uh, the loom dial. Uh, however, there are other versions of it, and I think they go from anywhere from $139 all the way up to around $200, depending if you're getting a bracelet, the type of dial, the type of the size of the watch, uh, things like that. It's all variable, but um, really nicely specced. And you can see here uh, a nice little buckle on here. Not incredibly uh, uh, bespoke, but it's not like your run-of-the-mill cheap press buckle. It's actually a nice piece of metal, stainless steel. Uh, just a really nice, and this is 200 meters, and you get that display case back. Let's listen to the bezel action. I haven't listened to the bezel action, so I don't know if it's any good. Actually, excellent bezel action. It's tight, but it's really, really nice. Uh, there's no wobble in the bezel at all. There's no give at all. Uh, lines up very nicely, and it has a very nice uh, positive feel to it. Uh, really, really nice. And then the indices are blued. I'm sure those aren't blue heated, obviously. Those are chemically treated. You have an orange minute hand, a red second hand, and then a blue uh, hour hand. So that's kind of weird. I think they should probably just have uh, gone with a blue second hand. I'm fine with the orange minute hand. Uh, I think that's a little weird. You have a day and a date, which is nice. Again, on a on a dive watch like this, I would have gone with nothing. It would have been fine. I wonder if they even have that option. I'll uh, put that in the uh, description below if there is an option for a dateless uh, uh, version of this. That would be really nice, especially with this white dial. It's very balanced. Um, the Aragon right there printed very, very large. So that's something that someone might be uh, a little uh, turned off by, but... It's not bad. I like the script that they used. It looks pretty good. Uh, sign crown. Crown could be a little bit bigger, but it does feel good, uh, and it's actually very grippy. Uh, the bezel is very grippy as well. So uh, you can see it's like double knurled. 
Um, and then um, everything operation of the Crown actually is very, very smooth, uh, works very nicely, uh, and feels very good, and uh, screws in very easily. It's very nice. I mean, you would expect for something like a $139 watch uh, that has 200 meters water resistance and a display case back, uh, that it would have some, you know, nasty feeling crown. It doesn't. The bezel action would be pretty nasty. It's not. Um, I don't know why people would buy a Pagani design when something like this actually exists from an actual brand that um, makes pretty decent watches for the money. Uh, I know this is sort of like a bargain brand, but uh, sort of like an Invicta type brand or, or, uh, or thereabout. Uh, but I think this is actually pretty impressive. It's sort of like that Pro Diver from Invicta. Uh, they're very, very affordable, but they have pretty good specs. I personally like the styling of this a little bit better. Um, it's not really an homage to anything. It sort of is at the same time. Uh, I think it looks good. And I like the feel. The feel of the watch is really nice. It feels well made. It doesn't feel like a cheap watch. It feels like a micro brand dive watch. Honestly, it feels like on par with a lot of the micro brand dive watches that I get in on the channel. I know they're not really a micro brand, I guess, uh, but for the price, 139 bucks, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I am impressed. I am impressed with this. Now, this has been worn for uh, by Junior, as you can see, the whole uh, strap. As you can see, the whole strap is kind of dirty. I'm going to just throw it on my wrist so you guys can see it on my 7.5 inch wrist. I'm not going to really test this watch to its limits because... Obviously, uh, it's not my watch, and I don't want to destroy anybody's watch just in case I bang it up. But um, I will wear it for a day or two and then maybe do a full review. Uh, but I will be sending this off to Rock the Watch, my friend over at the Rock the Watch channel, Matt Stingray. Uh, and he will be doing a review on this as well as unboxing, so you can get his uh, sort of, um, uh, you know, view on what this watch is like. But I have to say, my first impressions are pretty good. It's very legible. It's a good-looking watch. Uh, and it seems like you're getting a lot for those uh, for that $139. That's a lot. And $179 on a bracelet, that's really, really good. Uh, very quickly, uh, today, and I've been wearing this a lot on and off, uh, this is my Mido Ocean Star Tribute. Uh, just a really phenomenal watch for a very good price as well. You get that dive extension there, which makes it really easy to take on and off. I, I really love this. Uh, 40 millimeters. Uh, very classic looking in the bracelets, what really gets you on this watch. One of the best bracelets uh, that I have come across in this price range or around that sub $1,000 or $1,000 price range. So here you go. This is the Aragon Dive Master on my wrist. And I have to say, it's actually pretty nice. So you get 42 millimeters, it's 48 and a half or 49 millimeters lug to lug and a 14 millimeter thickness. So you could see it's not the thinnest watch, uh, but you do get a display case back. What could I do without the display case back? Yes, if it was a little bit thinner, uh, I would be completely fine not to have the, the, the display case back because the NH35 is really not that much to look at. They do put a custom rotor, so it's a little bit better, uh, but a very interesting watch and it feels very comfortable. I have to say, I am impressed. This is pretty cool, uh, especially for that low price of $139. So, uh, very quickly, I'll do a loom shot because I assume that this has a uh, loom dial, but I don't know that. And I believe that this has a loom bezel, but again, I'm not 100% sure. And that crown looks like it's also loom, but let's check that out. Uh, if all of those things are loomed for that price, that's pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, but very quickly, let's do the loom shot. Well, I have to say, I mean, this is pretty damn impressive. Like I mentioned a few times on this channel, loom is not cheap. Um, so to loom the bezel, the entire dial, the indices, the hands, and the crown is not a cheap endeavor. Uh, and I can't imagine how much money they make on this watch for the amount of loom that they're putting on here. It's 200 meters, uh, ceramic bezel, it's a really a lot of specs for $139. It really tells you a lot about what actually goes into a watch and how much everything actually costs because they must be making money on this watch. Uh, it's pretty insane. This is amazing. Uh, and it's like, it's good looking loom. This is, you know, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to be lasting that long. I mean, the dial itself isn't that bright compared to uh, the indices and the, uh, and the bezel. So the 
bezel itself is probably the brightest and then of course the hands and indices are bright but the uh, dial itself is not as mute it's a little bit muted compared to the rest but still the fact that everything has loom is pretty damn good and the crown you know it's already fading but again there's loom on the crown that's pretty insane this has a lot better loom than other watches again i keep on pulling in my poor mito and uh, making fun of it, but you could see this is a this is a thousand dollar watch. This is a hundred and thirty nine dollar watch. This is the tax on this watch, and that's pretty insane. That um, uh, this has a lot more loom on it, uh, and two hundred meters water resistance. So does that one. This has a ceramic bezel. That one doesn't. I mean, that's you know it tells you a lot. Uh, you get a lot for your money with these types of brands. So. Uh, I think they, you know, they do the whole retail price thing where it's $500 and it's actually, they, they end up selling it for a mega sale for $139, whatever. I mean, you know, that's the, that's the same tactic that sort of a lot of brands do in Victa and, and, and things like that. But honestly, this is pretty cool. Um, anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below. I, I'm actually pretty impressed by it. I thought I would be because I've seen uh, videos about these watches and how many, uh, how much specs they put into the watch, how much, uh, you know, like uh, just little things that they put into the watch that make it a useful day-to-day -day watch or a useful even dive watch for a very, very small amount of money. But uh, like I said, tell me what you think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel. And thank you to Junior uh, Johnson who actually lent me this watch. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'll be sending it on to the next reviewer. That will be Matt Stingray, my good friend Matt Stingray. Um, and hopefully he will uh, he will give you your th his thoughts on, uh, on this watch as well. I'm pretty sure that they'll be uh, similar to mine. Maybe they won't be. Uh, I'd like to hear it. But uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.